Hello, I'm Spriven, and this is Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge uh, NTSC PAL version, and this is a tutorial for the any percent route. Um, okay, so starting off here, you can see we've got one, two, three, four different castles we can choose to start from. Uh, we usually take Cloud Castle first because it's the hardest one to complete out of the initial four, and yeah. Go ahead and get in here. Alright, so first off I'd like to talk about the jumping in this game. If you'll notice, uh, Christopher, if you'll look at Christopher's head and the background there, that dot, you'll notice that the jumping is kind of inconsistent when you're just neutral jumping like this. Or jumping in general, whether it be forward or backward. However, if you do whip jumps, you not only get consistency in your jumps, but you also gain about two pixels. Uh, maybe, uh, well, three, depending on if you get low jumps out of the, you know, regular jumps. So two to three pixels and consistent consistency in your jumping. All right, so um, other than that, Enemies have iframe. Enemies and bosses have iframes in this game, uh, which means you want to kind of time your whips to where you'll get the maximum amount of damage the fastest possible way you can. Let's see. Throughout this entire run, you want to get the axe sub weapon and keep that throughout the entire run, and you want to keep both whip upgrades. Uh, the the chain whip which right now we have leather whip and the fireball upgrade which gives you a projectile and is helpful in a few situations all right so let's start off with this first screen here this first screen here there's nothing really much going on um, there is a small bird manipulation that we're going to be doing here to keep from getting hit you don't want to take more than three damage before you get to the rope boost section of this game it's very important that you, you know, don't take more than three damage. <laughs> uh, if you do, then you're going to have to skip a rope boost, and that's going to waste a bunch of time, and it's not good. Okay, so about this bird manipulation. What we're going to do here, we're going to pick up the first whip upgrade, and then when, we, when our sprite gets completely inside of the window there, we're going to do a little jump. All right, I fucked that up. So, I, yeah, right about here. Yeah, that should be good. And then the bird will not hit us. <laughs> and that's pretty much all there is to that. I'll show it off again. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure your character sprite is completely inside the window before you do the jump. Right about there. And you will not get hit by the bird. And that's pretty much the first screen. Nothing much to it. And the second screen, also not a lot going on here. Again, time your whips to kill the enemies. Um, we, we, we want to use a bit of the uh, jump whipping here. Whoops. <laughs> I, got, I got put on the platform. <laughs> So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get on the very edge of this platform here and then do a whip jump to kind of make that platform a little faster. Saves a little bit of time there. You can get probably right about here and then jump right about there and just barely make it but that's pretty much what you want to go for there. Also pick up, well it doesn't really matter if you pick up that big heart there off the rope but I usually do it. Most people, most of us do that. <laughs> All right. So now, on to this next screen. We're going to be doing some rope jumping. And it's very important that you get on and off of these ropes as fast as possible. And pretty much the way you do that is by uh, hitting the jump button um, in time. So what you want to do here is kind of boom, like that. Ah oh, shit, I don't know why I restarted it. 
But yeah, you want to kind of just as, as soon as you your animation starts to look like it's grabbing the rope, you want to hit jump to get off the rope as soon as possible. Like that. That's pretty much what you're going for there. If you hit it a little if you hit the jump button a little late, you're probably going to stay on the rope and that's not good. It just costs a little bit of time really. It's you should be able to get off the rope before you get stabbed by the spike so I wouldn't worry about that um, and then after this this is pretty much boom same thing and then we kill those two bats just like that and then now we've got these night dudes after that three rope jump right there and I'll show you how to deal with that here shortly but this is pretty much what you want this screen to look like right here. Jump, 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 whip, jump, whip, jump, 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 jump. Boom. And it's important that you get the axe right there. It can be a little scary, especially if you jump too early. You're probably going to land or going to hit those spikes, and that's really bad. You do not want that to happen. Um, we'll run over this again real quick. But yeah. Boom. Boom. Now, on that first night, it's important that you kind of delay your third jump whip just a little bit or you're going to jump too quickly and you're going to jump into the night. It happens quite a bit and it's super annoying and I reset for it but you know for beginners you know it probably wouldn't be too big of a deal because there is some meat in this stage that you can pick up. Uh, so yeah after we kill the first night like that or you could just <clears throat> hold on I don't think I can reset the... Yeah, I can. Instead of just doing it like I did... Uh... That's not what we want to do. You can also do that as well as a way to avoid the damage and not risking the jump whip strat there. Um, but yeah, on this next night, we just basically want to do pretty much the same thing. Jump whip, whip, jump whip. Jump up, grab the axe. And that's how you do that screen. Now this next screen is just a couple rope jumps. What you want to do is get right about right about here. You can use the left his left knee as an indicator of how where you want to be on the rope as opposed to the other ropes. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump from this rope to the end, but at the at, on the last rope we want to kind of press up a little bit and climb up just a little bit and then jump to the left uh, to make sure we get off in time. Uh, something like this. Yeah, which I think you could probably do that just a little sooner. Probably right here. Yeah, yeah, something like that. The faster you do that, you know, the sooner you get on those ropes and the sooner you get through this section, it saves quite a bit of time to do it like that. So this next screen here, we have a spitter and a platform. Now what you want to do for this next screen is watch his right knee. You notice how the right knee is like that. What you want to do is watch the right knee for the height compared to the platform and for when you want to jump off onto the platform. And then we're going to throw an axe and then jump or do two jump whips and kill the spitter dude and make it through pretty flush. Something like this. Yeah. That's pretty much how you want to do that screen. Um, you can also, you know, if you're not comfortable doing the jump whip strat, you could just do it like that if you want to. 
Alright, so if you happen to take damage at any point before this next screen coming up, uh, there is a meat in this room that you can pick up. Um, take a little bit of damage to make sure we get it. If you do not get hit, this will be a big heart instead of meat. But yeah, it fills up quite a bit of your health, and if you took any damage before this screen, you can fix it by getting the meat there. Um, but yeah. Move on to the next screen. Also, very important that if you're wanting to learn this game, it's you should learn it screen by screen. So this next screen isn't too tricky to pull off, um, but you can mess it up. It, you know, it happens. So, more rope jumping. There's lots of rope jumping in this game. What we're going to do is slide, jump, climb up, jump, jump, whip jump, get the last uh, whip upgrade, and then bam, work through. It's important to try to get off the rope, this rope right here, as fast as you can. And I think, let's see can't get off there can't get off there right there right about there is where you want to jump from you won't always get it because you're when you're sliding down you move pretty quick but you just kind of got to, you know get a feel for it more or less would recommend practice in this part but yeah right about right about there is where you can jump um, and then we do the whip jumps or the jumps and then the whip jump to grab the upgrade and then that's pretty much all there is to that screen not much to this next screen either just jump off the rope throw the axe also note you could jump off the rope right about there yeah that's pretty easy Boom, jump, 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 and then on to the next, next screen. This screen can be kind of tricky, um, but I'll show you how it should be done. <laughs> so right about, you want to watch your left knee for when you can jump off, which is right about there. As you see, I can't jump off here, can't jump off there. Right about there. Right about there is where you want to be. And you can jump off. Anyway, let me reset the room real quick. So this is what this should look like. Jump, jump. Edge of the platform and jump again. And you should be able to one cycle that room pretty easily. Not too much going on there. Now this next room is the jellyfish room. Now these jellyfish are completely RNG and they will give you one of three patterns and I'm going to try to show you and show you the patterns and as well ways to deal with them in a timely manner. You're never going you're never going to know what pattern they're going to give you, so you kind of have to develop reaction time for this cuz you never know what could happen. So, let's begin. All right, got a fast pattern. Fast pattern like that, you pretty much just have to kill them. That's that's all you can do about that. Uh, let's see what kind of pattern we get. Didn't get off the road. What kind of pattern we get this time? That's probably one of the better patterns you can get, and that's I think a medium pattern. That's pretty much how you want to deal with that. That was bad. Damn it. Yeah, you kind of want to de-boost like that. You get a pattern like that. Let's see if I can... Mm -hmm. 
That was a pretty decent pattern. You can get through kind of like that. You always want to try to throw an axe uh, whenever you get onto the first platform there, just in case. It kind of helps with the patterns. You can kind of fix them a little bit that way. Unless you get the fast pattern, there's pretty much no fixing that. There's also a way you can do like a frame perfect. Damn it, that's the fast pattern. There's pretty much, there's also a way you can frame perfect boost through these jellyfish on one of the cycles. But again, you know, it's frame perfect, it's kind of, kind of hard to do. <laughs> Bam. So yeah, pretty much if you get that fast pattern like that, the best thing you can do is just kill them. Boom. Let's see what other patterns we get here. Nah, it was too late. Damn it. I feel like I'm so close to it. That, I think that's the right pattern for the frame perfect. Like if you get the fast pattern on the second jellyfish, you want kind of like a medium pattern like that. And I'm just doing it wrong, but there's a way to do a frame perfect boost. On that fucking thing. Damn it. <laughs> uh, shit. Too late. Stop it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but anyway, you see what I'm talking about. You just kind of got to roll with it. Also, note, if you're not comfortable with going through this without taking damage, uh, there is another meat right here that you can get. Of course, it wastes time. You don't really need it. You, you can afford to take three damage, and usually in a run, you will most likely take one damage from the jellyfish, and two damage from the knife guy, which we will talk about in a few minutes here. Um, okay, so now we go on to one of the very tricky rooms to one cycle. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do here is get off the platform, get, or get off the rope as soon as we can onto this first platform here. And then we're going to do a whip jump onto the first rope, and then a normal jump onto the second rope, and then just jump off onto the next platform and then another whip jump onto the rope on the far left. Um, the whip jumps will help you a lot to land this jump more consistently. You can do it without it but it's just safer to do it with whip jumps and I prefer to do it, to do it that way. So this is what this should look like. You want to watch your left knee. Boom. Something like that. Yeah, keep your eye on your left knee. Jump. Bam. There you go. Pretty easy once you get it in practice. It's not too bad. So, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah. Alright, this room. This room also has a little bit of a trick to it as well. So the spitters give you two different patterns. You can, they can either, either give you a high ball pattern or a low ball pattern. What you want in this next room is a low ball pattern, uh, but if you do get a high ball pattern, I've figured out a way to do it without having to worry about it too much. And I'll demonstrate both patterns for you. That's a high ball pattern. That's pretty much how you want to do that. You want to step off, whip, whip, whip. Now it's important that on your second whip you don't hit him with the fireball. You actually hit him with the whip. You can hit him with the fire. You hit him with the fireball on the first whip, but you want to strike with the whip on the second hit, or it's going to cause him not to take enough damage because the fireballs do reduce damage, and he won't die when you jump over there, which will probably either kill you or throw you back. And you may also lose a whip upgrade, which is something you don't want. So, yeah, this technique, watch your right knee, jump, 
Oh shit, I did it wrong. So watch your right knee. Jump whip. Jump. Jump. Like that. <clears throat> Nothing really to this room. If you happen to make it through the jellyfish room without taking a hit up to this point, you don't really need to pick these up, but there's two hearts right here that I do recommend picking up if you get hit by the jellyfish because they take your hearts from you. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the knife guy. So there's a couple different ways you can deal with this guy. Obviously the fastest way is to just take a damage boost, which I will demonstrate first of all. What you want to do, jump off, wait, just walk, jump, jump, then climb on up the rope, he's going to hit you with a knife, and then you're through. No big deal. Uh, another way you can do this, you, you just kill him, just kind of like axe. Whip whip. If you have more hearts, you can also throw axes when he's up above you to do more to do damage and kill him just a little bit faster than that. But I don't have enough hearts to really go through with that, but I can show you what it looks like. Boom. Just kinda like that. Alright. So next is probably the scariest section of this stage, and it is the rope boost section. You want to get off this rope as soon as you can, which pretty much as soon as, let's see, as soon as you enter the screen, you're right about there. You can't get off the rope just yet, but if you climb just like one pixel higher, you can get off. But you don't have to hold up very long to get off the rope there. So pretty much what you want to do is this. Now it's important that you get over here to this left rope as fast as you can and before you get to the first or the second one of these uh, rotating spike thingies you're going to jump to the right side of the rope and boost through the spikes uh, to continue going up. I'll just show you. Boom. And then you want to jump hold up. You also want to hold up the entire time while on these because you ascend a lot faster. Then you want to jump to the left and boom you're through. You don't want to stay on these ropes too long especially once you start getting really close to the top because it's very likely that you'll get sucked into the fucking spike thing and take a lot of damage and that's not good. But yeah pretty much get off as soon as you can jump, grab the rope, climb, hold up keep holding up, boost through that, boost through this, hit left, left and jump, right, right. And there's nothing much to it. There is a faster way to do this rope boost thing, but it's only like a half a second faster. Um, but I guess it's worth noting. Um, so this is pretty much what you want to do with this style of it. You want to climb up and get off as soon, and then you want to jump whip, Take a boost here, mash right, or mash jump, and then, uh, yeah, fuck that up. So that last part there is a little tricky. What you're wanting to do is to take like a quick boost on that last spike wheel there. And what that does is it allows you to continue climbing, because if you'll notice, whenever you take hits, it stops you from climbing for a small amount of time. If you do a quick boost, it won't stop you from climbing and you can keep going up which will give you a little more time to jump to the right and then back onto the rope and then to the left and then climb all the way up it's just a slight bit faster uh, kinda tricky to pull off I uh, didn't mean to do that alright right about ah shit I didn't do it Shit, I didn't whip jump. Damn it. Whip jump. Boost. Mash jump. And Damn, that was too early. You gotta get really close to those spikes to pull this off. It's tricky. Right about... Ah, that's too close. Oh, 
Damn it. God damn it, jump. And right about here. No, that was too early. That was way too early. I climbed up too far. God damn it. <laughs> Right about here. There we go. That's what you want to do. That's the faster way to do that. And it's about 0.5 seconds faster. Not a very huge time save, but it is a time save for anybody that wants to pick up the advanced strats in this game, which I will be going over quite a few. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do the rope boost room. You can take either way if you want to do the easy way or the the harder way. Uh, the harder way will cost you quite a few runs because, like I said, that last little part is kind of tricky. Okay, so onto this next screen. More spitter RNG. So he gave us that pattern. What we're going to do is throw an axe here and then just walk right under him. No big deal. Alright, so he can give us another pattern which changes up the strat just a little bit. And there we go, that's the next pattern. Oh shit, I didn't jump. God damn it. And here we go. Yep, that's the right pattern. Jump, jump. Jump off whip. And we're gonna throw an axe right there or he's gonna spit a ball straight into your face and you don't want that. Because <laughs> it will take your whip upgrade and deal damage and that's not good. So, for this next screen here, there's quite a few tricky jumps. And I'll walk you through how to get everything done correctly. So, start this off, you can just walk onto this platform, jump there, grab this big heart, you want to have at least six hearts before the end of the screen. Oh, should probably make a save state there. <laughs> that, that part's the really tricky part. So to start this off, you want to throw an axe right about as soon as your sprite touches the candle and then you're going to do two jump whips and land on the platform that the spitter is on, like this. Uh, that's not right, that's not the right pattern, I think I'm too far on this screen. Here, let me reset it real quick. Okay, so pretty much what you're going to do is something like this. Alright, that's pretty much what you want to do right there. It seems scary, and it kind of is, but it's okay. But yeah, reset that, I'll show that off again. You want to get as far on the edge of the platform. Jump off, axe. Jump whip, jump whip. It's a very quick motion, and if you don't pull it off correctly, you'll either end up jumping down here or into that motherfucker and getting hit and possibly dying. Usually when you make it to this point, you should only have about one health, so you really can't afford to take damage. But this is a tutorial and I'm just showing shit off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what you want to do for that. Show this off one more time. Jump. Axe. Like that. And the second one, it's pretty much like that. So, let me back up here a little bit. But pretty much when you kill the first spitter, you want to... Oh shit, I need to reset the whole thing. When you kill the first spitter, you need to jump and throw another axe like right on the very edge of the next platform. Right about there. Two more jump whips and then you can just sit here and wait or you could go for a really hard task jump there. Which I will show off 
Although I really don't recommend going for it unless you're really going for world record because it only saves about three to four seconds. And it's really hard because subpixels may be involved with that jump, which means it could either be a pixel perfect jump, a three frame jump, or impossible. <laughs> And I have no idea how to manipulate the subpixels in this game. Um, that has yet to be discovered. We're not really sure how that works. But yeah. I'll try to show that off here for you. Let me reset this. That's another thing to note. If you go far enough off the screen from where the platform or enemy is, they'll reset the pattern. And you want to jump right about, right about there. I mean, that felt good, but I mean, it's also possible that I'm on the wrong subpixel. Like this shit is very tricky. Axe, jump whip, jump whip. Damn, I think that was too late. Oh, I didn't have to go too far off screen. Yeah, right about there. It's a very tricky jump. It's kind of hard to explain when I'm in motion. Um, pretty much what I do is do this. Oh fuck, I have to reset the whole thing. And that's, that's what happens when you don't get the jump input. <laughs> or you land too far on the edge there. Two. That was almost right. That was almost right. Very tricky jump. If you want to use a visual cue, um, watch his feet. One, two, bam. About one, well, about one, two to uh, two point five steps, and then you want to do a jump whip there. It's a very tricky jump, though. Very fucking tricky jump. But I recommend if you do want to go for this, you definitely need to practice. Boom, something like that. Okay, so on to the boss fight. This boss is, shit, what is it called? Angel Mummy or something like that, I think is what it's called. So it's basically two bone skeletons, and there's two different kill, well, there's two different quick kills, and I think Burbs is a little faster, and I'll show off both of them. Uh, my kill is a little safer, but I don't think Burbs' kill is that much faster than mine. But yeah, we'll go ahead and show this off. So pick up the orb. You want to have your foot like right there in the middle of that block, and then you want to start throwing axes. And that fucked that up. So yeah, it's very important when the fight starts. You want to have your foot right about there, and then you want to throw five axes, which will hit both heads for maximum damage. And then at the end of it, we're going to do two whip strikes and kill the boss. Uh, let's try this again. Ah, fuck, that was too early. Another thing to note if you're looking for audio cue, or the audio cue that I use to know when to start throwing the axe is I listen to the background music. There's like a small, there's a little hum in the background music. It's like, buh, buh, and like right before the last buzz ends is when you want to start throwing axes. Uh, listen for the background music. There it is. Boom. And that's how you do that. That's my kill. So, yeah. Just throw five axes and whip him twice. Not that hard. Alright, now Burb's kill. 
His kill is pretty much the same except for the end game. Ooh, I think that was a little late. Yeah, I may not be able to do bird's kill this way. You ha it's very important if you're going for bird's kill, you gotta get that first axe off in time. That was too early. Shit, too early again. Fuck. Um, I know I forgot to mention this, but it's really only important for like boss fights. You cannot throw another axe until the axe is completely off the screen, so you have to kind of time your shit or we'd be able to do this fight a lot faster. Unfortunately, that's just the way the game is. So, let's try that again. <laughs> Put in the middle of the block. I think that was a little late. God damn it. Shit. That was not right. So yeah, you kind of want to do some d delayed axe throws here too. Like that. Ah, fuck, I walked too far forward. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Boom, and that's how you want to do Burb's Kill. It's very tight, and it's also super risky, and like I said, usually by the time you make it to this part, you only have one health. Uh, but I think it is just a slightly faster kill than mine is. So, yeah, if you're willing to take the risk, you can go for that rat that kill as well. So, a couple recovery kills we have here. It's very often that you might try to throw an axe too early and whip instead. So I'm going to walk you through some ways to do this fight in case you do miss an axe. Uh, start it off the same as normal. Go ahead and throw that first axe early just to make sure we get the count. So you just keep throwing the axes. Got three health. That was the three health kill. Yeah, pretty much just turn and whip like that. There's another way you can do that too, but it only works if, if he's left with three health. Fuck. This is the four health. You want to kind of delay that second whip, that third whip, or that fireball will hit you and probably kill you. So that's what I was trying to do when I got him down to three health a minute ago. That's the kill you want to do if he's left with four health. Now if he's left with three health, this is what you want to do. Okay, it didn't work. Hold on, I, I know what. I know what I gotta do here. Shit, that's not right. You're supposed to jump. Damn it. Now I can't. Now I'm. Fuck. <laughs> That's how you want to do that. You want to whip, throw, jump, throw an axe, and then whip again. And that's pretty much Cloud Castle. That's.
Okay, so now we're on to Crystal Castle. As soon as you defeat uh, Cloud Castle, it will take you... Your cursor will already be on this castle. So pretty much all you want to do as soon as the stage fades out and comes back to the screen, you just want to mash start. There's also a cutscene that comes up at the beginning of every stage. You can just mash start through that as well. I'll show you. Just mash start. It'll start the level immediately. And it'll cut out the cutscene. Okay, so it's very important for you to watch uh, Christopher's feet for positioning cues. Uh, forgot to mention that in the first part of this, but yeah, uh, you should really pay attention to his feet a lot. Like uh, on this per first part right here, what we're going to do is get right about there before we start jumping. Uh, as you'll notice, this water here moves back and forth and it pushes you uh, whichever way the water is flowing. And we negate that by doing jumps through the water. So, let me go ahead and... Alright, so this is pretty much what you want to do for this section here. Jump, 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 jump. And you want to get on the far edge here, jump, 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 and then just walk on through because it pushes you faster that way. And you're going to throw an axe and jump at the right point here to kill that bird and also make it up onto this platform. So it should look like this. Jump, jump, jump. Jump axe. Right like that. Again, play, pay very close attention to the Christopher's feet throughout this run. And jump on these blocks. And then head on into the next screen. That's pretty much all there is for the first screen of this stage. Um, Okay, so for this next screen, we're going to have to deal with a Flame Knight and a Bat. And also a pretty tight jump. I'll show you how to get through that. Get off the rope as soon as possible. Throw an axe here, axe here. Keep walking forward. Jump, jump. Turn. Right about here. Boom, throw another axe. And right here we want to do one, two, three jumps. Uh, if you don't do that little jump manipulation right there, uh, you're probably going to end up jumping off the platform. You could also deal with this screen like this. And that pretty much negates having to deal with this guy up here. Yeah, if you don't do that, you're probably going to end up doing that. That's what you want to avoid. So yeah, running back through this, jump X, jump X, X, want to pick up that big heart, jump onto the platform, whip jump for the extra height, and we're going to do a jump, jump, jump whip. That's pretty much all there is to that screen. Now this next screen has a little bit of RNG in it, uh, but you can deal with it pretty easily, it's not that big of a deal um, but yeah we just got these platforms here make a jump here drop down and as soon as you get right there you want to throw an axe I didn't do this that part right you want to do two jump whips to kill that black uh, that knight efficiently and quickly so again drop down as soon as you touch that Boom, right like that. So now for this next part is when there's going to be some mermen spawning from up uh, under you. Uh, there's two different ways you could go about it. You could go with either axe strats or you could just whip them. I personally like to go with axe strats, but I'll show off both so you can get an idea of what, what I'm talking about. So right about here, throw an axe, throw an axe, throw an axe. Ah, uh, that was wrong. Throw an axe, jump throw an axe, jump throw an axe, boom. Uh, sometimes you'll get that force spawn there and that's 
it just happens. <laughs> if you want to, you can kind of do it like this. Ah, shit. Damn it. It's a little hard to time the axes. <laughs> Damn it. I'm throwing it too late, I think. Yeah, too late. Yeah, and then do another one right, right like that. And then this next part, yeah. Well, I'll show you the other way to do it. Is it, it's, You just do it with the whips. A little easier. But I like the axe swag. Personal preference, really. And then we're just gonna do a whip jump here. Another whip jump to get over there a little faster. And that's pretty much all there is to that screen. Now this next screen, you want to take a damage boost on the spitter to get through it faster. Uh, I'll show you how to set that up. So we're going to go up here, jump off, axe. Ah shit, that wasn't right. Jump off, throw an axe. Do a de-boost like that. And then we're through. Pretty much, even with the RNG, it doesn't really matter. You can always do it that way. Now this part, you want to jump, throw an axe. And then we're on to the ropes. Actually, there's something I need to talk about here. So, if you jump, if you jump at the right moment... Got fucking eyes coming down everywhere. But if you jump at the right moment, you can gain a couple pixels. Uh, on the on the rope before you start sliding down and that will uh, save you a little bit of time if you can pull it off correctly it's also a person um, it's also possible to get a frame perfect death uh, right doing that shit too so you got to be careful <laughs> um, also when sliding down this rope here, you want to hold right before the second screen transition, so you'll drop down to the right. Um, kind of important. So we axe here, jump, right, and then on this one you just jump and then let go and jump again. Remember to hold right there. So, shit. I need to make a save state before there. <laughs> Jump, let go. Alright. So, this next screen you can do one of two ways. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the safer way, um, and then I'm going to show you the faster way. So, this is pretty much what you want to do. There's a spike boost in this that you can do that makes it a little faster, but I'm going to show you the safe way first. What you want to do, just hold right, jump on the rope, and just start sliding, and then take the damage keep going and when you come out here you want to hold left and then hit uh, do a whip so you kill that eyeball and you also get a one-up not that you'll need it or you shouldn't need it anyway but you'll get a one-up as well so the faster way to do this involves a spike boost and it's kind of it's not exactly pixel perfect but it, it involves doing a quick boost like on the cloud castle uh, spiked wheels so, pay close attention. Let's see if I can get it here. Right there. Yeah, something. that's exactly what you want to do right there. And again, hold left, kill the eyeball, and you're through. Now, if something happens and you mess up the spike boost, which will probably happen, and you take too much damage, let's see, I'll try to fuck it up real good for you. Yeah, like that. You, you can also go to the right, get the meat there, kill the eyeball, jump, throw an axe, and then, you know, just keep going on your way. It doesn't lose too much time, but, you know, of course it is a time loss. Okay, so this next screen, nothing going on. Just go for the rope jump here. Uh, the next screen after this, um, there's going to be another knife guy, and you're going to do another damage boost on him. Um... And yeah, you get off the rope as soon as you can, take the boost, walk over, slide on down. So we'll try that again. 
Get off as soon as you can. Take the boost. Slide on down. Okay, I kind of messed that cycle up. Alright, for this next part, it's going to be kind of tricky. I'm just going to... Shit. For the next part after this, it's more of the water stuff. And when you first get down here, it's already pushing you forward, so just walk. It should push you all the way. Do some jumps here. And then some more jumps, and you kind of want to delay that one a little bit, and then jump here, bam. Just like that. You want to make, make sure that you're paying attention to his feet when I jump, where his position and when I jump, because it's very, very important. So, the next screen is more jellyfish <laughs> and I'll try to show off all the patterns and ways to deal with them as well so here we go starting off all right we got a fast pattern that was weird Let's reset that I messed that up dude that's probably that's a really good boost to do right there on that pattern all right so You can also get through like that. That's another good way to get through that, but again, it depends on the pattern you get. So let's see, let's get that fast pattern again. That's a good, another way to get through it. You do lose all your hearts, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Kind of a bad boost. Oh, that's right. That's what I was gonna say. Um, something else to note as well. As long as if you hit the axe input before you take damage, uh, I'm not really sure if it's frame perfect or not. But if you hit the axe input before you take damage, um, it will kind of buffer the axe. So you can still throw an axe even though you have zero hearts. Just one though, after uh, after you take the damage from the jellyfish. Uh, so you got one axe that you can still throw. Uh, it's kind of a weird little mechanic with the game. So yeah, next screen. Nothing much really going on here. Um, would like to point out if if you need it, there's meat right there. You really shouldn't need it though. So we jump here, jump whip, jump whip, jump whip. Kill that. Now again, more often than not, you'll probably come through here without without the heart, so you can't really use the axe for that. That's not what you want to do. Damn it, get off the rope. <laughs> Yeah, something like that if you're doing whip only. Another thing to note is he can give you two different patterns. You want the low pattern. If you get the high pattern, let's see if we can get it to go. Alright. Or at least if you're fast enough, you should be able to avoid it altogether. Yeah, you gotta get that fireball whip in there though to kill the ball as it's coming out. Yeah, you do like that. Alright, so next is the boss room and the boss itself. Now normally, you, like I said, if you come through here and you're probably going to take damage, there's a big heart there that you want to pick up, if you're going to go for my kill anyway. And then there's a little heart here. You only need about, I think it's five axes. Yeah, you should only need five to six axes to pull off my kill. Uh, but anyway, let's start off with my kill and then I'll show you the other kill. My, my kill is a little easier and I don't know, I just think it's, I just think it's easier. <laughs> it's easier than bird's kill mostly because you don't have to do the, uh, the jump whip mashing, which is great. Oh yeah, let's give it a go. I'm going to get right here and stand right about here, throw an axe and I fucked it up. Right about here. 
Yeah, throwing too early. You want to try to get the axe thrown like right as soon before he pops on screen. And right like that. Also important to note, you want to take as much damage for the end of each stage to help the countdown. Boom. Take damage there. Then axe whip. That's that's my kill. You go axe, whip, whip, axe, whip. And then you stand off to the right uh, for like a little bit as he after he disappears and then you walk back to that spot that you started in and then you do the same thing, axe, whip, whip, axe, whip. And then the last cycle you just axe and whip. Uh, you want to get rid of all of your hearts as well and have as m the least amount of health as possible before the end of each stage to help with the countdown. Uh, so let's go for Bird's Kill. It's a little different. So what you want to do is stand here. I'm bad. I'm not really good with this kill. This is not how I do this, but... Five? Okay, we got five. Again, take the damage. Shit. Yeah, that's not going to be right. But yeah, Burbs kill, you just do the jump whipping. Three, four, five. The max hits you can get per cycle is five. Uh, and to get the quickest kill, you want to get two five hit cycles, and then the last cycle will be just two hits. Damn it. I'm not really good with this kill, but I'll try to show it off. Three, four, five. All right, cool. Take the damage. One. Damn it. Too early. One, two, three, four, five. Take the damage. One, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. Take the damage. Take the damage again, and then two more whips so pretty much there's either kill is just as fast as the other there's no difference in the in the time because you can only kill him so fast but again I feel like my strat is a lot easier to pull off than burbs but again I'm including both of them because it may be different for somebody you know whoever is learning so you can pick your poison with that boss um, you try the axe kill, which is my kill, or Burb's kill, which is the jump whipping. So, here we are, on to Rock Castle. This is the third castle in the run. Uh, as soon as you complete Crystal Castle, this is where your cursor will be, and again, you just want to mash start. Don't worry about these candles. Don't whip that guy. You want to make sure that fireball hits the candle so you get the big heart. Throw an axe here. Do a jump whip. And then another jump whip. Nothing much to this screen. Pick up this heart here, slide down the rope, jump, throw an axe, kill the bat. Now this next part, you can also do a couple different ways. I have a certain way of doing it, which is, well, I call it the uh, swag axe strats. Uh, takes a bit of timing to pull it off, and I'll try to point it out or explain it to you. <laughs> and shit. Jump off the rope, and jump, throw an axe here, then jump and delay axe a little bit and throw it, throw it there. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Alright. Jump, throw an axe, delay it, jump, axe. Ah fuck, that's not right either. Wasn't far enough over. Jump, throw an axe. Delay it. Shit! Why can't I get that last one? Does <laughs> it? Axe. 
way. God damn it, I'm not doing it right. <laughs> Alright, so jump axe. Delay axe. Yeah, right there. That's where you want to do that. That's one way you can do it. That's the way I usually do it. it takes a bit of practice, but it's not too hard to pull off. And it looks cool. I call it the swag axe strats. <laughs> so another way you can go through this, you can pretty much just throw an axe here, jump whip, jump whip, axe, and then jump whip. A little easier to do than the swag axe strats, but I just like the way the swag axe strats look. <laughs> um, yeah. So this room, you want to stand right about here, jump, forward, jump forward again, then do a whip jump right there to make that platform. If you're too close on that last one, there's a good chance you're going to hit that top spike and you do not want to take damage in this stage. There's one, well, there's three damage boosts you need to take uh, before the end of this stage and if you take too much damage, you can't do the quick boss fights. Um, you need to have five health before you uh, at, when you make it to the boss. You need at least that, if not a little more. All right. So this next screen, we're gonna have some more axe strats. So as soon as you land, jump and throw an axe, and then throw another one. And then on this one, just jump, throw an axe, and this jump, throw an axe, quickly turn around, and then hit that one. And that's pretty much how you do that room. Nothing going on here. You might want to pick up that heart. Um, this next screen is just like a rope jump. You, know, you want to get to the other jump or the other rope before the spikes get to you. So you want to do it like this. <laughs> Boom. You want to try to dodge that platform because that wastes a little bit of time if you land on it, but you can still make the cycle if you land like that, if you just hold down and walk straight, you can still make it, but it's a little slower. If you do it like this though, it's a little quicker. And there's an invisible wall here, so you can pretty much jump off right about there. But again, you know, you're usually moving pretty fast where you're sliding, so you know, you just have to work on getting your timing down for doing that and then we jump here and another jump um, big heart here if you need it which you shouldn't I have a pretty good amount of hearts so yeah continue on to the next screen all right for this screen I'm gonna drop down jump jump Jump, throw an axe right about there. Kill that bat. Make a save state here. Now on this next one, we're going to try to we're going to throw an axe to kill a bat and an eyeball to make so we can make it through without taking any damage, as well as not getting knocked back and possibly getting knocked into one of these pits here. So right about there, you want to throw an axe to kill both of those, then throw another axe kill the top one from hitting you as well. I'll walk through that again. Go right about here. Oh, that was too early. A little too early. So it's right about there. Yeah. And that's pretty much how you do that screen. So for this next part, you want to jump off as soon as you can. Then you want to jump, jump, whip, jump, throw an axe, do a whip jump. Mm -hmm. Over this next part here, you want to jump off as soon as you can. Do a jump, 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 whip, jump, axe, jump, 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 whip, jump, 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 jump. and another jump whip. That's pretty much all there is to that screen. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, next up is coming the, um, the spike boost I was talking about. You may need this heart. Let's see. Yeah, you should just pick it up. Just pick up that heart. So, the spike boost requires, it's actually a double boost is what it is. It's not just one damage boost, it's two consecutive damage boosts. So what you want to do is when you slide down this rope, uh, you have a small window to get in as it's lowering and you want to get in it pretty fast, kind of like that. And you're going to do two damage boosts. You want to jump into this and then quickly turn and do another one right like that. Jump, turn. You can also do a little jump there if you are fast enough with the boost. You can do a little jump there to get on the rope a little quicker. Um, but yeah, I'll show that off one more time. Alright, uh, that was too early. Jump, turn, and then just slide on down. Um, it's, it's really time wasting, and if you do everything right, you shouldn't need to, but there is meat there, and it's kind of a pain, a pain in the ass to get to, and also get out from under that crusher and shit, which also sucks. Um, there's an axe in that candle over there. It's a little hurt right now because I already have an axe. But yeah, pretty much if you end up going for safety strats and you get this meat, you just go over to the left. And if you don't have an axe, you can pick up an axe right there as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that part. So for this next part, we're going to do another damage boost through a spitter. Um, as soon as we make the screen transition, on this rope here we want to be holding right and then immediately do a whip as soon as we make the transition and we'll boost through the spitter and then slide down the rope and kill some more spitter balls and then just go on through I'll show you what that looks like right like that whip throw an axe Ooh. <laughs> oh fuck. I didn't want to deal with that right yet. Okay, so yeah. Old right, whip. Whip. X. This dude, drop down, do a boost. Now I have the perfect amount of health to do this boss fight correctly. There's a couple different ways you can do this boss. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up. Wait a minute. Yeah, set up for that. You only need about four hearts. <clears throat> so for this rope, what you want to do is slide down and be holding diagonal left. And then do a whip right about there. And then the, you'll hit that thing fast and be able to pick it up quickly. So I'm going to show you the normal way to do it before I try the, sh the faster way because the faster way is a little tricky. Uh, the faster way only saves about two to four seconds, um, but it's still worth going for if you're going for a really good time. So, alright, so we're going to walk right about here, whip, 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 and then he's the first phase is down. You want to stand right about here, right above this crack here, and as he jumps back, you want to jump into him. Ah, fuck. So you want to do a whip, 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 whip. So again, back on the crack, right about there. And as he's jumping back at you, you want to do a jump into him and throw an axe, two whips. That was fucked up. Whip, 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 whip. You want to jump and throw an axe and do two whips. Whip, whip, whip. Ah, fuck. Whip, 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 whip. One. Shit. 
about fuck that up. <laughs> so anyway, you get the idea of what to do on the first phase. And that's how you do the second phase. Um, <laughs> so for that second phase, it's jump, axe, whip, whip, neutral jump, whip, whip, axe. It's pretty quick motion. It's not too hard to pull off. Um, shit, my save state. Damn it, I didn't make another one. So now I'm going to try to attempt to show you the faster way. So I'm going to get it right about here, throw an axe, whip, axe, whip, whip, whip. Ah, fuck, I missed one. So right about here. Too far. Yeah, that's how you do the fast first phase. Um, you want to get see where your foot is compared to the axe uh, icon down there that's about where you want to stand for the first uh, axe and whip so right about here you gotta be fast or that'll happen you gotta be fast with it if you're not fast with it it's not gonna happen yeah right like that that's that's the, that's the way you do the first phase fast first phase. That'll save about two seconds by itself. If not a little more. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do that boss. There is no other, I mean there are other ways you can do it, but that's the fastest and best way. There's, it's not really that hard to do. You shouldn't have a lot of trouble with it. Um, however, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it takes about six hits to kill the first phase. There is another way you can do the second phase. A little slower. But it's not too much slower. You, you want to do the, the axe jump, two whips, another whip, and then jump and throw another axe. Just like that. And <clears throat> you'll kill him still in the air, but it's just a tiny bit slower than the other way to do it. So yeah, that's Rock Castle. Not much to that. <laughs> okay, so now we're on to the final, uh, final castle of the first four, uh, Plant Castle. Again, just mash start through this. I want to make sure everybody sees that though. This castle can be pretty tricky. So, to start off, you want to do a whip right here and pick up that big heart, and there'll be a little heart come down here. There's going to be two frog enemies that you can deal with, right like, like that. Just to do a jump whip, and they'll be dead. <laughs> you can also do do it with axes, but doesn't really matter. So right about there you want to do a jump whip. And then here, jump whip again, and it's done. So this jump right here can be kind of tricky. I mean it's not tricky, but it can be an asshole. It's a pretty high jump and more often than not you you'll not make it with just a normal jump, so an easy way to avoid not making it and wasting time you can just do a whip jump and guarantee it every time um, but yeah that's pretty much all there is to that first screen this next part uh, requires some risky business <laughs> but 
pretty much what you want to do here is do a jump, jump, jump here, throw an axe, do another jump, fall down the hole, jump, throw another axe, kind of delay it a little bit, delay that, that last axe there. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, right like that. That's exactly how you should do that screen. Alright, for this next part, we're going to hold right like that, so we drop off. You get really close to those spikes, but they'll never hit you, so it's okay. Uh, we got some eyeball boost and stuff coming up here shortly. Plus, these first two eyeballs you want to take out with the axes, um, like this, and jump right here, yeah, and another axe, and we want to turn and take a damage boost on that eyeball. Uh, the reason you turn is because when you get hit, it knocks you backwards. So whichever way you're facing, that's where you're going to get knocked to. So you want to turn around to take those damage boosts. And then jump whip here, jump whip there, use the fireball to kill those. Turn again. Do a jump there, and then we're through. This next screen requires a, a delayed axe throw. Um, you want to try to get off this rope as soon as you can and jump and do a delayed axe and you'll kill both of the bats in one hit if you do it correctly. So it should look something like this. Ah, that was too early. Too early again. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Ah, fuck, I missed the first one, or the second one. There we go. So yeah, you want to be right about there. No, no. Yeah, right about there. That bat's got to come. That first bat's got to come down a little bit. God oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah, right about there. That's where you want to do that. It's a little bit of a delay on the axe throw, but not too bad. Now, this next screen involves more fucking ropes. <laughs> Fun, fun. Okay, so I recommend picking up these two hearts here, right like that. Um, you shouldn't really need it, but if you do, there's meat there. Uh, so yeah, let's continue on with the screen. Don't grab the hearts. So what you want to do is do a jump from this platform over to here. You can do it pretty quickly. You just kind of gotta like that. But sometimes, if you don't, if you land too far in the edge here, you'll probably end up uh, like just falling back down here, which sucks and waste time. So, I mean, if you want to guarantee that you get it, you can just kind of, you know, walk a little bit forward and turn, and then turn around and jump. You also do a whip jump as well. Um, there's going to be a red skeleton come down, all we're going to do is throw an axe at him, no big deal. Throw an axe at this bat, and get right about here on the rope. And we're going to do a couple rope jumps, and try to, well, maybe a little lower, maybe right about there. So, boom, boom, boom. You want to land on that platform to get a little jump up higher on the last rope there. Makes it a little faster. Shit. So, my oh fuck. So, grab the hearts, do the jump, axe, jump axe, right about here. Make a second. Right about here is where you want to be. Then jump, 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 jump. You might, hmm. Maybe a little higher then. Jump, jump, jump. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's basically what you want to do there. Now, on this next part here, we're going to jump off the rope and then back on the rope. It saves, I think, Berg uh, counted it out to like 48 frames to do it like this. But what we're going to do is boom, jump, throw an axe. Kill that dude. Jump here, then delay the axe just a little bit, and you can kill that skeleton without getting hit. If you do it wrong, you'll get hit. <laughs> Again. 
delay it just a little bit. The rest is just jumping over. Nothing too crazy going on here. And as soon as here, jump, throw an axe. And the bass did. <laughs> you want to climb to the very tip top of this rope here before you start jumping over. Um, when you jump over, you only lose like a pixel on these two, but this one, it takes you like right down there, so you still have to climb up just a little bit to make that last jump. So, yeah, it should look something like this. See, that's why you climb up a little bit. Again, so, that's what it shouldn't look like. <laughs> You want to jump, jump, climb up a little bit, jump, whip. And make sure it's very important, very fucking important that you hit that bat with your whip and not the fireball. Because if you hit him with the fireball, he's going to split into two bats and it's going to be really fucking annoying and it sucks. So, jump, whip, make sure you kill him. And now we have another fucking jellyfish room everybody's favorite there's a there's one of these rooms in every single one of the first castles I think I don't think there's any in the Dracula castle stages though so pretty much what you want to do with this one uh, pretty much requires you to kill at least one of them um, it's pretty easy it's not as crazy as the other one although you can still get bad patterns but I'm gonna show you how it should look. Then you want to jump, throw an axe, whip, whip, and that one's dead. And that's all you got to worry about killing. Now in this part, you want to turn, do a spike boost, jump here, and grab this meat. So that's why I say you don't really need that meat down at the bottom. But if you feel like you need it, you can grab it. Although you won't be able to do the uh, the jump to the second rope if you hit that block and grab the meat there. So. I mean, you're, you're, you're kind of trading off badly there, in my opinion, so I just suggest waiting for that meat unless you absolutely need it. Um, okay, let's go through this room again. Always make sure to kill that one at least. Jump over, turn, spike boost, jump, whip, grab the meat. Nothing too crazy about that one. Sometimes you can get a fast pattern and you might have to kill them both. Other than that, no big deal. Jump, 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 grab this big heart, jump, jump, and right about here, jump and throw an axe. Do two jumps right there, jump off as soon as you can. Do us do us an eyeball boost, turn, do the eyeball boost, and then you want to kill this last one. To open up the bridge so you can get down and that's pretty much all there is to that screen um, you don't really need it but there is another meat right here <laughs> just pointing it out you can pick it up if you want to so this next part involves some spooters <laughs> super fun spooters um, pretty much what you want to do here is do a whip jump whip whip and that's what you want to do you want to make sure that those fucking these uh, spider webs don't get too low because they act as ropes I just killed myself there you go. something like that you want to make sure they don't reach all the way down like I said they act like ropes and if you get stuck you know if you grab one of these it wastes quite a bit you know just a little bit of time but you don't want to do that boom and man you're through <laughs> All right, so uh, if you All right, so this next part can be a little tricky. Uh, there's two different ways you can do it, or well, there's a couple different ways you can do it, but I'm going to show you the regular way first. I right, just walk over, kneel here kill those, jump whip, jump whip, jump whip, jump whip. And that's usually, that's just the regular way to do it. I'm going to attempt to pull off the, not not the crazy way, but it's a little bit faster. 
right about here. Jump, whip. That's kind of what you're looking for, but I think I needed to be just a little bit higher up on that last one. Shit. Yeah, right. Something like that, pretty much, is what you're looking to try to do there. Right about there. Shit. <laughs> Climbed a little too high that time. Uh, let him go down too far. Shit. Yeah, pretty much like that. So this next screen, this is the boss room. Just don't even worry about the eyeballs. Hold right there to drop when you drop down through the screen transition. Whip, whip, and boost through. You have to do that first whip or he'll hit you with a, one of the spitter balls and take your fucking whip upgrade, which is not good. And then here we come to the last boss. There's only one way to do this. <laughs> the good way. So, what we're going to do here, well, I'll just show it and then I'll explain it. Boom. So, starting off, we want to walk to the left, jump, throw an axe, throw another axe, whip, 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 whip. Oh, fuck. I fucking know. Right about there. So... Jump, axe, damn it. Uh, timing's a little tricky with them axes. Jump, axe, axe, whip, 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 whip. That's not right. So, yeah. Jump, axe, axe, whip, 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 axe, and then another axe right there. You can do it slightly faster if you do a neutral jump into those last fireballs that hit you. It'll turn you around a little quicker. I'll try to show it off. Damn it. Jump, axe, axe. Yeah, right like that. And of course, you know, you want to lose all your stuff and you can you you can take a damage boost on their little tridents beforehand so you don't have a whole lot of fucking health. That was wrong timing was off. Axe. Axe. Damn it, jump! God damn it. What the fuck? You can also walk to the edge here and it goes off screen a little faster. But yeah, that's Plank Castle. Not too much crazy shit going on there either. This game's mostly just movement and quick boss kills. Like, that's really the biggest thing. There are a few hard jumps here and there. But they're mostly in the last stage.
an hour onto, whoops, my bad. So now we're on to uh, Dracula's castle. Uh, there's only two parts of this castle. It's showing you here right now. Uh, you can also you just mash through that. Like as soon as the screen fades off of that last castle, or the the uh, yeah the the last castle, which is Dracula's castle, you can just mash start and get to the stage quicker. So starting off, jump. Ah oh, shit. You want to grab this little heart here, so you're going to jump, whip. Then you want to pick up another big heart right up here, right there. And then you want to jump and throw an axe right there. Pick up another heart here. So this next part involves some damage boosting. Uh, we're going to damage boost through this scythe guy. Um, Cause otherwise, it, I think it takes like five hits to kill the motherfucker. Very slow. But anyway, jump whip, jump boost. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I was I was a little too late on that. Jump boost. Yeah, there we go. It's not a perfect boost, but it it'll do most of the time. That's pretty good. But if you do it just right, it's pretty much frame perfect. You can bo boost through really quickly. I think I'm off just a little bit. I'm just a little too late. That's too too early. I know that's too late. I'm just being blah. See if I can show this off here. That's way too late. <laughs> a good boost but that's not the perfect boost that's late nah. there we go that's the perfect boost really hard to pull off but it's doable um, this next part there's not much to it <laughs> Boost. Jump onto this platform here. Whip jump and grab that heart and do another whip jump here using your fireball to kill that bird. And we're going to do another damage boost on another scythe guy. Again, you can do the frame perfect on him if you can hit it. Really hard to do, uh, but it is possible and it loses like literally no time doing it that way, as you've seen. You basically just walk on through. So this screen, not too much going on. Just jump, jump, throw an axe, kill the bat, get right about here. Yeah, and that's all there is to that. Uh, next screen, you want to climb as high as you can before you see that start blinking. And as soon as it starts blinking, you want to jump off like this like that I whip and grab the heart there you don't necessarily need to but you also get a little extra height doing it that way you know because of the whip jumping so whip jump and then we're through let's see what is this next screen ah yes okay so this next screen going to throw an axe at the bat uh, get off we're gonna get off the rope as soon as we can throw an axe at the bat jump jump whip again and that's pretty much all there is to that <laughs> next screen jump off stand right about there I don't know why I did the whip jump jump onto the platform right about here jump Jump, 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 and then we're through. That's pretty much all there is to that. Um, so this next screen can be kind of tricky depending on the pattern you get. So just jump, throw an axe, whip, shit. Jump, throw an axe, whip. Ah, fuck, I keep hitting the iframes. <laughs> 
shit, that's not right. I think I'm walking too far forward. I don't know what the hell am I doing. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck you! Doesn't really matter how long it takes you to kill this dude because you gotta wait on that cycle of this spike anyway. God damn it, I keep getting hit by that fucking thing. What the shit? Dude, why can't I do this part? Oh yeah, kill that. That's a different pattern. Boom. Oh, fuck off! Jump, throw an axe, whip, whip, jump. God damn it! Try to get this fucking low pattern right. I think I'm walking just a little bit too far to the right. That's not the low pattern. Also not the low pattern. Shit, I jumped too early. <laughs> ah, fuck. But yeah, for the low pattern you want to be right about here. Damn it! <laughs> I keep jumping too early. Right about here. God damn it. Give me the fucking low pattern. <laughs> Bastard. I swear to God, dude. Again, pay very close attention to my feet when I'm doing shit. <laughs> Alright, so this next screen, nothing to it. Jump, throw an axe. Jump, throw an axe. No big deal. If you need it, which if you're going fast, you shouldn't, but there is meat here you can pick up. You have to kill both bats to be able to get it, or that they're going to annoy the fuck out of you. Uh, Next screen we got a spitter. Uh, we're gonna do two quick whip jumps, or not whip jumps, but two quick jumps. The second one we're gonna whip this dude so we don't get hit by the spitter balls. And yeah, boom, right like that. Just walk off the side there. Again, pay attention to the feet. Right like that. Alright, so this next part, we want to hold left and jump off and then do a whip jump and kill the skeleton with the fireball. And then we're going, as soon as we land on the rope, we're going to jump to the right immediately. Uh, maybe that'd be better if I just show it off. Right like that. It's important to do jump right there so you get there. Sometimes you don't even have to kill the damn skeleton. <laughs> Right there, yeah. Okay. So this next part, we want to jump here, jump, jump. Damage boost through this guy. Get right about there, jump again, do another damage boost. This next part can be really tricky. Yeah, pretty much how you do that. You want to boost on the spitter and land on the spikes and then wait for it to start to come the this platform to start to come back and then uh, jump on over there's also a faster way to do this but it's also scary as fuck actually let me kill these guys so I can see that's what happens when you hit the fucking big bat with the fireball fuck off bat <laughs> I said fuck off <laughs> god damn it <clears throat> but anyway alright so Damage boost in the spitter, do a whip jump, whip that, 
dump on over. Not not too difficult. So for the faster way, it's set up the same way, but you're gonna do two whip jumps, and they're pretty fucking hard to land it correctly, but I'll try to show it off. So damage boost, whip jump, whip jump, and that was too late. Jump. Yep, right like that. Right, just exactly like that. Uh, definitely going to take time to practice that one. I'm surprised I got it that fast, <laughs> to be honest with you. But that, that jump honestly only saves, again, only about three seconds, maybe a little more. Um, it's not required for world record at the moment, I don't think. Uh -uh, but, uh, yeah, it's another advanced strat to look into. Um, Alright, let's go back up here and reset this. So, for this next room, we just want to drop down, whip, whip again, and pick up this meat right here. So, again, it's jump off, whip. Ah, fuck, I jumped off too early. Right there, two whips. No big deal. <clears throat> Nothing really going on in this room. Uh, I think I have... No, seven hearts is good. So for this next room, you want to make sure that you're holding down. You don't want to hit left or right. Uh, you want to hold straight down, drop down. If he gives you a low pattern, do it like right like that. So the key to doing that little platform shit right there, uh, hold left and hit right immediately as soon as you leave the. Uh, the first platform you're standing on right here boom hold right and then go through um, again if he gives you a high pattern you don't have to worry about but for a low pattern you're gonna have to do a whip right like that and that's pretty much all that is to that room jump off axe kill both bats nothing nothing crazy uh, for this next room we got two more spitters coming up and mm -mm. What, we go, what we're going to want to do is uh, this. <laughs> Throw an axe, whip, whip. Jump off, axe, whip, whip. Shit. Axe input, please. Uh, another way you can do this, you can actually damage boost through the last one. It might be a little faster. But you shit. You still want to throw that first axe to get rid of that bubble. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Axe input, please. <laughs> yeah, right like that. You can do damage boost like that as well to get through that. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> so now we're on to the boss room. You can just whip that guy. Or, or you could throw an axe if you have the axes to throw. Right like that. Jump, throw another axe. And then jump, throw another axe. That's pretty much all there is to that. <laughs> now the key to doing this boss fast is you have to hit... You have to be able to hit two axes on him on one of the cycles. And you absolutely have to stay in front of him. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. <clears throat> so his first cycle, he's going to come out of the, the roof right here. One, two. Jump. One, two. He's off screen, but you can still hit him. Now as soon as that starts moving, you want to throw an axe. Ah, shit, I did it wrong. As soon as that bottom on the, I think it's the third, no, yeah, it's the third cycle. Yeah, on the bottom thing starts moving on the third cycle, you want to start throwing axes as soon as you can. So again, whip him off screen, throw an axe, fuck, it missed. <laughs> Timing is a little wonky on it. First cycle, whip, whip. 
whip, jump whip, jump. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Whip, 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 whip. God damn it, I missed him again. So pretty much his, his tail has to be almost completely out of the second, uh, the second hole before you can hit him on the third cycle. Right about there. Damn it, I still missed the first axe, motherfucker. Damn it! <laughs> I'm throwing it too early, which is unheard of. Oh, brother. Whip, whip. Whip, whip. Whip, whip. I fucking still missed it! What the fuck? <laughs> Jump, whip, whip, whip. God damn it, now I'm missing the second axe. Alright, the axe part is probably the hardest part of this entire fight to do it correctly, but it's important if you want to get the quick kill. Whip, whip, jump, whip, 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 whip. Yes! Bam. Fucking finally. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Again, you want to have as the least amount of health as possible to when you're in the stages. Um, and also to get rid of all your hearts. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you do the quick kill on that boss. There's no other way to do it any faster. Okay, so this is the hardest stage in the game, <laughs> and it has killed many a run for everybody. <laughs> but I'm going to try my best to teach you the ways of doing this correctly. There's pretty much zero room for error on this stage, so it's worse than Cloud Castle. This is going to be quite a doozy. Alright. So to start it off, you want to get right about there, jump, throw an axe, whip, whip, and then you can just wait on this cycle here. Or you can go for the Tash Jump, which is not nearly as hard as the Cloud Castle Tash Jump. Uh, it is difficult but it's totally doable and it's super easy in my opinion like once you get it it's not that big of a deal but pretty much you want to set it up the same way right there middle of the crack jump axe whip whip one two I fucked up that last part but that's how you get the pass jump right there I kind of stuttered on that platform Important to do a whip jump there, or you're not going to get the task jump. Like, it's literally impossible without it. Jump axe, whip, whip. One, two, jump. Ah, fuck. A little too far. Jump, whip, whip, whip. You want to get almost on the edge of that last platform there. Uh, also, don't, as soon as you land on this little, this five uh, plank platform here, you don't want to move at all, and you want to try to kill the scythe guy as fast as you can, because if you move at all, you're going to cause this platform to be off cycle, and you won't be able to get over here as fast. Uh, you can do a jump whip here, kill that bird, 
and that's pretty much all there is to that screen, which it's a pretty tough screen, especially for, damn it, especially for the first screen of this level. So, up axe, jump, whip, jump, whip, right on the edge, jump, whip, jump, axe, whip, 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 jump, axe, jump, and another whip jump to kill the bird, and you're through. Again, you don't have to go for the task jump, uh, it saves about three seconds, it's super easy, you shouldn't have any problems really figuring that one out. The only reason I say you don't really go for the task jump on Cloud Castle is, well, like I said, subpixels may be involved, which means there's a lot more fuckery going on with that one than there is this one. <laughs> you want to whip and grab these hearts here. And we're going to be dealing with another spitter room coming up. So what we're going to do here is you climb up, throw an axe, whip, whip, jump over, whip, 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 axe, jump over. And that's one way to do it. There is another slightly faster way to do it. Climb right about there, whip, axe. Ah, fuck that up. I'm still fucking it up. Still fucking it up. Yeah, right like that. Gotta make sure you get that first fireball in though, right about there. Yeah, right like that. <sighs> Nothing too crazy. So next screen we have another scythe guy. Um, you can either kill him or take the damage boost depending on which route you want to go. So, you know, just jump over and kill him. You can also use the axe if you want to, if you're going to kill him. Throw an axe. Jump that. And he's dead. You know. No big deal. And then you can continue on. Um, if you do the damage boost, though, you're going to be... You're going to have to go for the... Well, I mean, you don't have to go for the damage boost on the crushers, but... I recommend it. So we'll go through this little cycle the safe way first and then I'll show you the fast way to do it. So safe way, jump, kill the guy, he's dead, climb up the rope, get a crusher up here, take six hits to kill these. You want to get as close as you can, five, then kill it right there, jump on over, You have to wait here for these cycles if you want to do it super safe. You can make that a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, and bam, you're through. Now, if you want to go for the fast version of this, you're going to have to take the damage boost here. Damage boost. make a safe state right there and jump here turn now this first spike boost is really tricky um, again pay attention to the feet um, the, the meat will not appear if you don't have if you haven't lost any health so it's important to note that if you do this scythe guy the, fa the, the safe way do not go for uh, the meat. It'll just be a big heart and I think it would pretty much fuck you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I did that wrong. Whip, turn, jump, jump. Now on the second part, just do it like that. You gotta make sure the crusher lands though. Uh, or it will just go back up. That was too early. 
Yeah, right like that. Um, Alright, for the second one, if you... Hold on, I'll show you what I mean. If you don't... If you're not holding down whenever it hits you the first time, it'll just bounce back up, and that's not what you want. If you want to get here, turn, jump, jump. Again. Turn, jump. You gotta make sure you're backwards, because again, like I said, you get knocked back. Uh, depending on which way your back is. So that's pretty much that section. Uh. Kill that guy. You can pick up the big heart there if you want to, but there's another one up here that you get, that you, so you don't really need it. Um. Okay, so this one, we want to get off the rope as fast as we can and throw an axe at the scythe guy. If you do not do this fast enough, he will hit you and it will pretty much fuck everything up. So, here's what you want to do. Get off, throw an axe, whip, whip, whip. And here, jump, whip, jump, whip, jump, whip. And do another jump, whip. Pretty tricky shit. <laughs> so again, jump off, axe, whip. Whip, whip, right here, boom, boom, right like that. Now this, I'll show you the safe way to do this, and also the very tricky way to do it. Um, yeah. So what you want to do is get on this platform, turn, hit, hit that, grab the meat. Wait for this cycle, this is the safe way. Jump, throw the axe, and then you're through. No big deal. So this one, a little bit faster, but also riskier. You want to get like right on the edge. Shit. And what I use is a visual cue. If you watch that bottom platform, where it goes, and when it starts to turn around is when you want to jump from the first platform. Like right there in that little crack is what I use as a visual cue. So, grab the meat, get on the side. Ah, uh, cycle's off, never mind. Grab the meat, jump, jump, jump. Right like that. Gotta do the jump whips. If you don't do the jump whips, you're not gonna make it. So, again, grab the meat, get on the edge, wait. Bam, right like that. Again, watch that crack. That crack right there on the far left. You see where the platform starts to turn around? Right there. That's where you want to, that's when you want to jump off the first platform to make the cycle. Yeah, right like that. Um, okay, so now we're going to go through a rope boost section. Yeah, more rope boosts. <laughs> Fun stuff. So, jump off, axe, whip, whip, whip. Important that you catch the cycle going up as fast as you can. Come over here, do a boost. Do another boost here, jump to the right. Then left, left. Left, 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 left. Boom. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Throw a bat. If you do, if you do this fast enough, you'll hit him with the axe. So you can kind, of, you have to kind of uh, time your shit out. One, yeah, right like that. Um, but if you manage, if you don't get off fast enough, like say like that, you'll have to whip him three times. So it's pretty important that you get off the pier as fast as you can, which is right about there. So, wait a minute, I, I, I know I can do that faster, yeah, right like that, catch the cycle, jump all the way to the right, jump to the left, boost through, jump to the right, boost through, jump to the right, I'm to the top, jump left, I'm to the top, and then jump all the way to the left. That's pretty much all there is to that shit. 
Don't throw an axe. One, two, three. Now a lot of people get tripped up on this little part here. You do not want to jump off of this platform. You just want to walk across and then jump. Right like that. With the ball, throw an axe at the bat, and jump on over. that and jump throw an axe whip whip boom do a jump whip here to get on the platform a little quicker another jump whip pick up this big heart here uh, on this shit I should have made a save state Jump whip. Jump whip. Alright. So for this next cycle here, as soon as you get to the very edge of this floating platform to the right, you want to throw an axe and then uh, do three whip strikes on the, uh, the scythe dude. Again, pick up the heart, jump here, jump, throw an axe, and jump, do three whips. Kill this dude. Kill that one and then jump on over. There is a faster way you can do that though. I'll, I'll go through that as well. Don't throw the axe. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> I, didn't, I threw it too early. So you want to get like right on the edge here. I like that. Take note of the position that the spider is in whenever I kill it. <laughs> Pretty important, it could mean life or death. So. Boom, jump, jump. You gotta do that really fast or that, that spider is gonna fuck you. Every time. So again, get right on the edge. Jump, whip, jump, jump. Jump, throw an axe. And then on this next part, jump through. Yeah, fuck, I did it too late or early. Throw, throw another axe and do two whip strikes. Mm -mm. Also, in this part, you're going to do a little bit of uh, camera manipulation because if you'll notice, uh, right here the camera doesn't move when I turn around. So the camera's offset a little bit, and if you do this the right way, you'll get faster. Uh, faster drop downs on the spiders that are coming up. So again, jump, throw an axe, whip, whip, turn around. That's a pretty good one. That's not the fastest, but that's a good one. Jump, axe, whip, whip, right about there. Oh shit, I didn't do the thing. Rip. Okay. That was slow. Damn it, too early. Fix the camera. Get as far as you can to the edge here. Yeah, fast spawn, fast drops there. Alright, so for this next part, we got two speeders we gotta deal with. Two different ways you can deal with them. Uh, depending on your health, I would recommend one over the other. I'll show you the safe way. Jump, throw an axe, whip, jump, throw an axe, whip, whip. Grab the meat here. Very important. You will not beat the boss without at least this much health. <laughs> uh, so again, jump, throw an axe, whip, throw, ah oh, shit. Jump, throw an axe, whip, god damn it. <laughs> damn it. Mother, dude, are you fucking serious, dude? No fucking way. 
Right, right. Gotta time that shit right. That's not timing it right. So if he gives you the high pattern, it's really safe. But for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble with this goddamn low pattern. <laughs> Give me the low pattern back. Give me the fucking low pattern! There we go. That's how you want to deal with that. Gotta throw that fucking axe or he'll hit you with that stupid ball every time. And take that one out just like that. Um, now the faster way to do it is like this. Alright, that's not how you do that. <laughs> I think I gotta do a faster boost. I was never really good at this. Yeah, that's not how you do that. <laughs> ah, damn it. Damn it. He gave me the health and I still died. What the f- Yeah, you can't have that. Really hard bullshit to pull off here. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Kiss my fucking ass, dude. Yes! Right like that. Pretty fucking hard shit to pull off. <laughs> but again, it saves a lot more time than doing it the other way and killing them. And you don't want to take a second hit. If you take a second hit, it's very bad. Yes. Right like that. But yeah. So now we're on to the boss room. You only need seven hearts to do this. Fighting Soleil, our son. <laughs> Boom. Uh, I can just mash start to skip this dialogue. All right. As soon as this fight starts, walk over, throw an axe. Whip. Ah, fuck. Throw an axe. Another axe. Axe. Whip. Axe. Axe. Shit. There's a little bit of a faster way you can do that, but, uh... Wanna get those initial four axes in there. Missing that last axe, damn it. There's another way you can do this. Shit, not like that. Jump, axe, turn around. Jump, axe, turn around. Axe again, whip, axe. Axe again. Fuck. Jump, axe, turn around, axe. God damn it. No! Damn it, throw the axe! Ah, fuck. I don't think I have enough health to do the faster kill. <laughs> Shit. 
Yes, there it is. Very risky. Very fucking risky. But it's the fastest way to do it. Jump axe. Ah, fuck. Jump axe, turn around, axe, whip. God damn it. Timing's really tight as well. I'm a bitch. Jump axe, axe, whip, axe. Damage boost, axe. Throw the fucking axe! <laughs> axe. Damn you! <laughs> Jump, axe, turn around, axe, whip, axe, damage boost, axe, axe, whip. I fucked up. God damn it. Axe. God damn it. <laughs> axe. Fuck you! <laughs> axe. Damage boost, axe. God damn it! Throw the fucking axe! <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, fuck. Really? Ugh. I fucked up again. God damn it. Stop it. I swear to God, if you don't throw that fucking axe. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Didn't get that last axe in there. Axe, whip, axe, axe. Fuck! That was it! God damn! Yeah, if you fuck that up at all, you're dead. <laughs> but that's the fast way to do it. Again, we'll go over the easy way. Just walk, axe, whip, axe, axe, kneel down, axe. And just whip his ass down at the end there. Whew. Gotta be quick, man. Gotta be quick. Or he'll fuck your ass up real fast. to the last part of the game, which is, of course, the Dracula fight. Uh, I recommend picking up this candle and picking up the big heart here. And there's nothing really to the stage, it's literally just Dracula. Alright, so when you drop off, when you make this train, when you make the screen transition here, you want to hold right. And as soon as you uh, land on the second platform, you want to hold left and drop down and whip, uh, like so. Oh shit, oh, yeah, I mean, you can do that faster, like boom, boom, bam. And it'll start the fight immediately. Uh, need to make a second. They stay here. God damn it. Save state right here. Okay. So, first off, I'm going to show you the fast four cycle. 
not too tricky to pull off, uh, but it's the fastest way you can beat Dracula without doing the three cycle, which is pretty hard to do. Um, but we'll start off with the four cycle. So jump here, jump axe, jump axe. One, two, three, four, five, jump, jump whip, axe, jump. And that's the fast four cycle. I'll do it again and try to talk through it. Jump X. Jump X. One, two. One, two, three. Turn here. X. Jump. Jump whip. Jump whip. X. Walk forward a little bit. And then jump whip. That's the fast four cycle. Not too hard to pull off. Um. Sometimes you might miss a hit or something. It happens. Uh, so try to demonstrate that here. I'll go ahead and miss a hit intentionally. You still do it pretty much the same way. Right about here, jump whip. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> that shit can happen too. You could still get him with a five cycle, even if you miss that one. You should be able to anyway. Axe, jump, jump, whip, jump, whip, axe. Right about here, jump, whip. God damn it, too soon. I keep doing it too soon. Yes, Dracula has iframes too. <laughs> uh, something to note about this fight as well. If you hit him at the wrong. Damn it. If you hit him at the wrong time during his despawn phase, it will carry over the iframes into his next spawn, which makes a hit in, a hit in the beginning impossible. Which is bullshit. <laughs> At, God damn it. I'm trying to show the bad version and I can't do it right. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Axe, jump, jump, whip, jump, whip, axe, right about here, jump, whip, throw another axe. That's a slow four cycle, but you still got a four cycle. Or if you wanted to be a little more safe about it, I just fucking missed the axe hit. Doesn't matter. If you want to be a little more safe about it, you get here, throw an axe, kneel here, and then you can parlay this into a, f a five cycle. You know, it all depends on how you want to go about it. Now, for the three cycle, that's pretty tricky. <laughs> it's really tough to pull off. You have about a three pixel window to pull it off correctly and if you don't get it you're going to die guaranteed so let's give that a shot axe jump axe whip 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 jump jump right about fuck I don't even remember to be honest <laughs> I know where the pixels are, but I can't remember it's right now. Nah, I'm too far over. Yeah, I remember it now. Whip, 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 whip. And right about. That was wrong. You want to have your back foot like right there almost in that white. It's better to be farther right than it is farther left, I'll put it that way. Right there, that's the three cycle. And it's really fucking hard to do and if you fuck it up at all, you're gonna die, guaranteed. <laughs> so let's go through that again. Jump X, jump X. Whip, 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 
whip, whip, jump whip, jump whip, get right about there. Yeah, fuck. That's another thing, you don't have any time to adjust. You either get on the pixel or you don't. <laughs> That's another thing that makes this shit hard. Again, you've only got a three pixel window to be able to even do this. Shit, missed the axe. Fuck. <laughs> Whip, whip. Shit, that was too far to the right. Gotta watch that back foot to know where the perfect pixel is. Damn it. It's too slow on the second whip. God damn it. Really? Whip, 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 jump whip, jump whip. God damn it. This shit is hard. <laughs> Fuck you. That happens, you can parlay it into a four cycle. But, yeah. More often than not, you'll probably die. <laughs> God damn it. I missed the first whip. I was too fast. Very important to learn the timing here. Jump whip, jump whip. Fuck you, Dracula. This is <laughs> Yes. So as you see there, you gotta get the jump whip in. And then throw an axe immediately, well not immediately after that, you have to delay it, delay it just a little bit because you got to time it out for those stupid fucking iframes. And two more jump whips, a jump, one of the jump whip, the last jump whip you need to do jumping toward him, and then throw another axe. Very fucking bullshit and tricky. Now, if, it, if you die on Dracula and you just want to finish the run, I'll show you how to do it whip only. You want to stand here, come over here, get the five whips in here, jump over here, jump, do a whip, come here, turn around, go back, another whip, kneel here, drop down, whip, kneel here, Let's see, I couldn't even remember what the next cycle was. Fuck. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Alright, let's try that again. Kneel here. Get the five whips in here. Jump whip, jump whip, whip. Turn around, come back. Kneel here. Drop down, whip, come up here, kneel, and then he's going to come right back up here. One, two, three, four. Bam. And that's how you do whip only. Just remember all those spots where I kneeled and stood whenever, during which cycle, and you'll be fine. Uh, let's see, what else we got to talk about here? Oh yeah, the other three cycle. The other three cycle is a bit slower, and it's equally as dangerous, but only because of the way you got to set it up. Um, it's easier than the other three cycle, but, it, you know, if you fuck it up, if you fuck up the setup, then you're probably, well, not probably, but you're going to die. <laughs> yeah. So, let's try to do that. So what you want to do when you drop down, you want to drop down to the left side instead. 
come down here and turn around and then right about I think right about here you want to do a jump whip and try to pick up that orb uh, before it falls and do a jump back to the left uh, as you can see here that would have if I would have grabbed the orb this is exactly where you would have landed um, the reason this is dangerous is because if you don't do this right uh, you're going to end up falling in the spikes there if you don't do the jump back to the left correctly. Uh, no, 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 no. So it should look something like this. That's that's the way you want to do it. It's really tricky. It'll take some practice for sure. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump X, whip, 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 whip. Shit. Fuck that up. Right about here. Get. Bam. Right, right like that. Whip, whip. Whip, whip, whip. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> so again, right about here. Notice his face, the distance to the candle. Shit. Jumped the wrong fucking way. Shit. Wasn't far enough. Damn it! <laughs> All right, that's what happens if you fuck it up. Right there, you land on the spikes. You take a fuckload of damage, and you're about to take immediately even more damage. Oh no, I have eye frames. But even still, you could probably pull off a whip only kill. But you're going to have to change up your strategy a bit there for sure. All right, so right about there. God damn it. <laughs> close enough. Shit. Yeah, right there. Make this motherfucking save state so I don't have to keep doing that. <laughs> Jump axe. Whip, whip. Whip, whip. Whip, whip, whip. Ah. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> Jump X, whip. Why did you jump into him? <laughs> whip, whip. Whip, whip. God damn it. <laughs> Motherfucker, I keep missing that first axe. God damn it! <laughs> Boom. Important to get the first axe in there. You can still probably pull it off if you don't. Uh. But yeah, gotta get that first axe in there. Two whip strikes, walk over, and then throw another axe. Let's do that again. Jump axe, whip, whip. Whip, whip. God damn it. Jump axe, whip, whip. Whip, whip. Right about there, axe, jump, whip, whip, walk over, axe again. Also a three cycle, it's slightly slower just because of how you have to set it up and it's also just equally as dangerous. But either way, you know, you can get a three cycle either way. Let's see, I covered four cycle, whip only, and the three cycles. Um, that's pretty much it. That's, that's, 
Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, 80% route. That's pretty much how you do that. <laughs> There's a couple variants you can do, and uh, I hope this tutorial is helpful for anybody looking to learn the game. Really good gun game and really good run. Lots of technical shit in it. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for me. I hope this was helpful. I'll catch you guys in the next one.